Hey guys, welcome back to RMA Garage. I'm Mark and I'm glad you joined us today. Today we are going to be working on the RV. Actually, I already worked on the RV, but I wanted to show you what I did. Now, I had a problem with the air conditioning and it really wasn't the air conditioning, it was the fan, but more importantly, what the fan was doing or what it wasn't doing. So we are going to show you what this is and why I had to replace it. All right, so let's get to it. So we are inside the RV and I wanted to point out to you, this is the multi-selector fan switch that allows you to uh, low, medium, high, extra high, or however you want to assign these tick marks. <laughs> anyway, there's one, two, three, four positions. Now on my model, when it's here, it still blows just a little bit um, it's never really off. Well, what I noticed was when I would f put it to the center there, it seemed like that it would go off. Like there wasn't any, um, increase in air. And then when I'd go to the third position, it would be just blown like crazy. And of course the fourth was almost, uh, loud enough where you can't really hear anything. Um, so I just thought maybe, maybe the fan was messed up or maybe, you know, maybe it just wasn't as hard. I mean, I just didn't really want to deal with it and I just kind of ignored it. And my wife brought it up to me and she said, there's something wrong here. So I Googled it and guess what came up? Heater fan resistor. So what this thing does is it provides resistance um, for the fan. So it allows it to have the multiple speeds. Well, apparently, it can only fail on one speed and this speed was the second tick mark in so uh, i didn't know this so the uh the fan did not work on the second setting so i went to the auto parts store and um, i picked up one of these this was about 35 dollars, and i thought it was kind of funny i don't know if you can see that the original one was slovenia slovenia that's where it was made so I guess this is a big hot item there. <laughs> so uh, obviously it's not that big a deal. It's got a plug on it, a um, couple of places for the screws, but I'm gonna show you now inside the engine bay on where this thing goes. All right, so I'm gonna start out a little bit and then we're going to go in a little bit. This is on the left-hand side. And as you can see right here is where the fan, this is the actual fan housing, the fans right in here. Well, here's the fan. And then this is some duct work. So um, this is where the resistor is and its orientation is this way. So that's how it goes. So you have basically this plug right here plugs in. This is the, these are the new wires and it plugs right in to the fan motor. See the fan motor here. And then you have this harness, this hat tab, it just basically pulls out of course it's plastic you don't want to pull it too hard this comes off and then you have one screw here and you have one screw here and it is screwed into plastic so you got to be careful uh, these screws come out and then this uh, resistor basically it comes out just like so and this part sticks actually into the actual uh, ductwork so that is all that it took um, it was a 10 minute job um, I did add some electrical tape here to um, fasten the wires just so they weren't flopping around. Um, but really, that was all that it, that it took. Um, it was pretty simple. But if you have an issue with your fan and you're not getting all four speeds, this is going to be the culprit. Uh, so uh, anyway, guys, I just wanted to show you that. And... Um, I'm starting to think that you're probably thinking my RV is just a bucket of bolt and it's just crazy, but these RVs definitely, sometimes things go wrong and you gotta fix them. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. I will definitely leave a link below uh, for what this part is. I bought mine at AutoZone. Uh, you can buy it probably at Advanced or O'Reilly or whatever auto parts store is in your part of the country or world, um, but I'll just leave a link below just so you know what it is. Um, so. If you guys have any questions or comments uh, please leave them below and i will get to them as soon as i can uh, again thanks for the support and for watching and the comments i love them uh, 
we're getting into winter time now, so we're gonna be uh, putting the RV away pretty soon. And I'm gonna be doing a video on what cover that we use and a couple things that we do to um, winterize it. Now I I've, I've have a winterizing video for the plumbing and those sort of things, but I have a cover and there's a couple things that I do just minorly, it's really nothing crazy. Um, but we uh, are going to be storing it here in the next couple of weeks because it's getting cold and there's really no place to go. So a uh, video for that coming soon. And uh, so anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.